Hey everybody, it's Boxy Cactus here back with another Knights and Dragons video. I'm also joined by my younger brother named Ryan. Mm -hmm. What's up, man? Alright, so today we are going to be covering the top 25 push that I did this weekend. Um, unfortunately, it's coming out on Tuesday for you guys because I have to upload at school, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Alright, I've got some legendary armors to collect because I have been crafting some nice armors for, you know, the little event. Check this out, guys. This is Angelic Plus. Um, this is the armor that I've always wanted. Uh, actually, my brother always wanted this armor, but I sort of got it for him. Ryan, how cool is this? Whoa. Pretty nice, is huh? Is that the best epic in the game? Um, apparently, it is the best epic in the game. What was that? Dark Prince has launched an attack? What? we got to beat that guy up. All right. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to play my phone or, you know, log on to Knights and Dragons for a long time because I wanted to collect the reward on camera with you guys so yeah unfortunately I'm gonna get a really late start on this raid wait what the hell we're in 13th place what wow these guys have been going really OP that's pretty nice um so the minimums for this war were actually um 75k on the first day which in my opinion is actually quite low because everybody goes for 75k in the first day and um you usually want to aim at like 85k just you know to get a little bit higher than everyone else but we ended up coming in 18th place um the second day minimums were 110k so pretty cool um yeah we were just matching up with a ton of allies um i had four choices to push with for this raid i obviously took uh legendary serpents because they were part of rainbow alliance and rainbow alliance has so many friends that it's just like yo we're just gonna match up with all these guys we're going to get some major points. As you guys can see, I didn't even finish using up all my energy, which is unfortunate. But um, I should be able to use that next war, hopefully. I think that's how it works, honestly. But, yeah, so we came in um, 18th place. We were in, like, 15th place for, um, like, the whole war. And then at the end, I guess we just dropped down a bit. But, yeah, we had a pretty solid lead. And, yeah, another successful push. Um, to be honest, I did not have the gem minimum, but, um, you know, like, those strip battles, they're so OP, you get so many points, and our guilds were, like, setting up frenzy bonuses, so you get, like, 912 points per attack, so, yeah, that's some good stuff. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have anything to enhance my Angelic with, um, as you guys can see right here, pro yeah, I only have this Wind Monarch Roves, but, um... After this uh, Blitz raid, I should have enough air fusion boost to enhance it because, um, you know, there's tons of air fusion boost from it. But we do have some enchanted chests to open up as well as some Dark Prince chests. You want to see this, Ryan? Yeah. Here, tap the button right there. All right. Yeah, it's snowing pretty hard out here in Canada, so it's a bit late getting home. Mm -hmm. What the heck's up with these two nemesis? All right, we got a pretty cool four star. It's pretty nice. Uh, three star. We got a fusion boost. Another fusion boost. Another one star. I'll open up these ten. Dark Prince chests. They used to be terrible, but now they've just redeemed themselves. Another freaking nemesis. It looks like a freaking spec ops unit. I'm not even kidding. We got some two stars. That's good enhancement material for angelic. And we got nine of these. We should have way more after this blitz raid because I'm probably gonna be going for like seven million. But as I said. Before, I wasn't able to go on to Knights and Dragons um, since the rewards were given out, so I have a really late start. Might not even be able to get to 7 million. Oh, it looks like we got some gems from those chests. I didn't even notice. We're at 141 now. Yeah. All right, we're going to equip Angelic on one of my knights. It's probably going to be this one. Yeah. As you guys can see, it looks like a little wimp at stage one, but we'll get it enhanced. I got some really nice rings from this war push. Ryan, you want to see? Check out this. Violent Opal. That's 400 plus attack for a spirit armor. Opal. Yeah. I also um, combined one of my earth rings together. I was gambling because I did it with another spirit one, and I was hoping to get a better earth one, but I ended up getting a spirit one, which is unfortunate because now I don't have an earth amulet. Um, yeah, probably should have not done that. I'm thinking we should combine this showpiece with the four star ring that we just got because I'm not sure if it's all that good. Let's just see if we get something cool. You guys might argue that it's pretty good, but um, I have other rings that are better, so 
Let's do this, Ryan. Hopefully we get something cool. If we don't, I'm going to be actually really pissed. But let's see what we get. All right, we got another showpiece. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is a good one. Yep. This, so this um, provides both attack and defense at a high amount. That's exactly what I actually wanted because Chaotic Hellguard is a very equal armor. Ryan, what are you doing? <laughs> He's freaking scratching himself so hard. He's going to make himself bleed. All right, so the push was really easy. Once again, I pushed with... Legendary Serpents. I'm actually going to end up sticking with them for this Blitz Raid because um, the war ended and then the raid started at the exact same time. So, yeah, that doesn't matter too much. And it, by the looks of the things, it's actually good for me because they're all the way up in 13th place. So, um, the reward I'm going to be getting is probably really good. Let's see what it is. Ryan, what are you doing? Armor of the Peacock. Well, I already have that armor, but... Um, Scorpius Mantle isn't much better, so I guess it's fine. Um, in all honesty, I'm not complaining, though, because this is an awesome rank. I'm pretty sure we'll be getting lots of fusion boosts as well. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to go get started on the raid right now. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video. I'll be enhancing um, Angelic later this week. And also, hopefully I win this little um, armor crafting giveaway. I've been crafting lots of legendary armors. I've probably crafted over 30 or 40, something high up there. Uh, the winners will be announced on November 4th, as you guys can see. November 24th, all right? So that is literally tomorrow. So we'll be seeing um, who wins that, as well as we'll be collecting the armor tomorrow. But, of course, I'm going to be uploading this on Tuesday while I'm actually recording it on Monday. But you guys know that my Internet's crap, so I have to record a video and then post it the following day, which is unfortunate because it gets things a bit outdated and a bit complicated for recording. But, yeah, that's sort of something I'm just going to have to deal with until my internet gets fixed. But um, this is the guild that I pushed with. It's Legendary Serpents. I highly suggest you join. They are just one of the best rainbow guilds I've ever pushed with. Um, I've pushed with many rainbow guilds. Um, what were they? There's one that was Creation, OTSS, Legendary Serpents, which I pushed with now, MTFF, all those good stuff, all those good guys. I haven't pushed with Rainbow Rug or Rainbow Clay yet. That'd be pretty cool if I'm able to do that, but... Um, that would obviously be for like a top 10 run. I might be doing one in the future, but anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. Um, it was kind of like, you know, kind of chill. What would you say, Ryan? Pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah. I do have to say I'm really going to enjoy using this armor. It maxes at 2,400 attack and defense. I'm pretty sure it's almost at 2,500 defense, in fact. So it's a very equal armor, and it's also my very first fire air apart from, like, um, Firestorm, but I don't even use Firestorm, so that doesn't really matter. But, yeah. All right, so I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.